Welcome back everyone to another episode of Small Town Hunters. I'm Drew, I'm out here hunting. It is Friday, the second weekend of uh, archery season here in Minnesota. I'm in a new spot, whole different location. I've sat, I haven't sat here yet this year. I sat with Anthony and recorded, but I haven't personally sat. Um, kind of in a swampy area, got a creek running right by me. I'll show, uh, I'll pan the camera around, but yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't sat here in about two years now. Um, we don't have any cameras down here, but I can see trails walking through. Hopefully we can get a doe. I mean, buck is always a plus, but I'm really craving some venison right now. But I just got set up kind of early, but I had to find it first. I was just kind of walking blind, but found it. Anthony and his wife are here too. They're about, oh, I don't know, 800 yards away. And the, they're moving a stand right now into a different spot. So they're gonna be sitting there for an area. As you can tell, it's windy, but should die down. It's pretty hot, still about 80 degrees. Forgot a hat too. We'll worry about that. We'll worry about that, but um, I'm super excited for this sit. Hopefully we can bag one or someone can get something on the ground tonight. Uh, I have a good feeling about this, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. It's pouring out. Oh my gosh, it is just absolutely pouring out. We got out early because we just wanted to scout a little bit. Clearly didn't check the radar good enough and it is <laughs> coming down and we're quite a ways from the truck. So I don't know, we're just gonna tough it out and walk all the way back, but we are soaked head to toe.
Alright, welcome back guys to another episode of Small Town Hunters. I'm back out here from the spot you see in the previous video or in this video, I'm not sure. We just sat here this morning, it's the afternoon. Got Isaiah behind the camera. Uh, we moved up about 50 yards from where we were at previously this morning. But this morning was an exciting hunt. Uh, Paul and Anthony were down about 100, 110 yards from us on the same side and they had a monster come through. We didn't get on camera. Uh, he kind of just, it was earlier this morning and took a couple bounces from from the wood line here to the other wood line across the soybeans, but had a smaller buck, a nice little eight, that's close to a shooter, come out in front of him for just a little bit and then walk back in. They watched him go bed into the woods across these beans here, so. Uh, I, like I said, Isaiah's with me. Anthony's gonna be with his wife tonight. We brought down a double stand. We put it on the other side so they can see across these, this tree line behind me, which is three rows of corn with hay in between and then Paul's by himself all the way down about 300 yards by himself, kind of where the bucks possibly could have came from. So, I don't know, we're super excited. Weather is cooperating, it's nice and cooler. It's been hot the last week. It's been about 80s to mid 80s for the whole week. Now it's about 50 to 60. Got a decent win for this spot. Uh, reason we moved up is because we're on a kind of teetering on a hill, so we can see down both sides a little ways. And this morning we had a couple deer right here to my left come out and we couldn't see them and we were only 50 yards away like I said. So we're super excited. They're coming through right now to go set up so stick with us.